Hello all, hope you are ready to learn about the exciting world of button cell batteries, specifically silver oxide variations. To begin, button cells are small, flat, circular batteries coming in a range of sizes and voltages. They serve a variety of small appliance needs due to their impressive efficiency and size. Silver oxide versions contain silver oxide, as the name suggests, and zinc. There are two types of silver oxide batteries. These two types have a different salt bridge solution, however, both producing the same result. One type is a sodium hydroxide solution and the other is a potassium hydroxide solution. The history of the silver oxide battery goes back to just after World War II. They were refined significantly during the time and used in hearing aids initially due to their compact size. Mercury was later incorporated into the zinc to improve shelf life. In around 1960, it saw the first commercialised silver oxide battery being produced. Then later, in 1976, they were sold in Japan, which saw the increasing popularity of quartz wristwatches. A couple of years later, between 1979 and 1980, silver prices almost tripled, affecting the world usage of these batteries. Silver oxide batteries have been used in a variety of small-scale electronic appliances. They were originally used in hearing aids due to their compact size and consistent charge. In the 70s, these batteries are used in quartz watches and electronic calculators. They are also used in portable electronic games, compact film cameras and medical instruments. A silver oxide battery consists of three main parts and an insulation sealant around the outside. As shown in the image at the bottom of the slide, there is a positive electrode, the anode, at the base, which is a silver oxide, and at the top, the negative electrode, the cathode, which is zinc in this case. A salt bridge lies between the two, which is either potassium or sodium hydroxide solution. Mercury is incorporated into the zinc, as previously said, and this is to reduce the chance of corrosion in the alkaline, which is zinc. When used, a silver oxide battery undergoes two reactions. The silver oxide is reduced as the reaction occurs, gaining electrons at the cathode, which can be seen to the right. Two silver atoms are oxidized, forming silver oxide, water, and two electrons. The zinc is oxidized, losing electrons at the anode, which can be seen in the reaction to the right. Two zinc oxide atoms plus four electrons become two zinc and four hydroxide atoms. Zinc is the activator in this reaction and corrodes. The overall reaction can be seen at the bottom of the slide, with zinc becoming zinc oxide and silver oxide becoming silver. Silver oxide button cells have a number of impacts on society, both positive and negative. Positives include the size and efficiency of the cells, also the innovations in appliance designs due to the size and efficiency. In turn, they have allowed for shrinking of overall product sizes. Negatives include the expense of silver, which drives the cost up on the batteries. Also, due to silver oxide batteries being primary cells, they are not rechargeable, which means they are only able to be used once, affecting both the environment and production. Also, shelf life is significantly reduced due to the corroding of zinc. These cells have several impacts on the environment. A positive is that the battery can be recycled to recover the used mercury. Another positive is the insula inside the battery prevents leakage of any contents, especially the mercury, which is particularly hazardous to the environment. In the reverse, if, has, if leakages do occur, it can be very hazardous to the environment, causing catastrophic damages. Another negative, when mining for the materials like silver, significant habitat loss can occur. Another negative is that most of the battery cannot be recycled.
Thank you all for watching the, this educational video. I hope you learnt something new today. This has been Professor Luke Giordano. Have a pleasant day and be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more great videos. Thanks.